recently i came across one of the spring boot based application uh, that that uh, some other team was working on and recently i got a chance to look at that one and i noticed that service uh, takes unusually high time to start on further looking into the because first thing when it is taking too much time first the step to debug it to go to the dependency section that's uh, uh, that's there in the spring boot and see how many things uh, it is loading how many functionality it is supporting so from the service functionality uh, point of view i knew that it is like doing only the basic stuff not much but on looking at the spring uh, that uh, gradle build dot gradle if it is a maven that is a pom dot xml but in our case it's gradle so build dot gradle i saw that there are so many dependencies like kafka data jpa redis what not all of them were added and this service is pretty old so those functionalities were supported at a time but later on they got removed but uh, no one took uh, uh, an eye to like care to remove the build dot gradle so functionality is not there but sets, uh, things are already uh, still sitting in the build dot gradle so this is the reason that it is taking too much time to load because you see when your spring boot application is starting it creates the depend like bean of all the dependencies that you have added there so what is the way out around this first thing is uh, obvious thing is to clean up which is not needed but there is another way also there are cases where uh, there are certain functionalities which not be immediately needed but they will eventually be needed for all those dependencies that th those are not needed upfront they should not be loaded at well services starting up so we can avoid that how we can avoid that there is this very good feature that is lazy initialization in spring boot the name is still suggest itself suggests that it will be initialized later on but not immediately so to enable the lazy initialization initial, there are two ways first is throughout the application there is this dependency uh, there is this configuration is spring dot main dot lazy initialization as a true add it it will be enabled if i want to selectively uh, lazy initialize a specific service so there is a this configuration for that uh, at the rate lazy annotation on top of that service which you want to lazily load into the system there is drawback also like uh, if there is any important configuration in keys that needs to be checked at the service startup you should not put them as a lazy initialization so these are the so uh, tricks or not the knowledge uh, or i say that these are the knowledges that you can take to uh, like speed up the services startup if you notice that service is taking too much time to respond so do uh, check this out like dependencies and try to do the lazy initialization and see we will see the uh, services starting up very quickly